Hey, good morning. I wanted to first off uh, let everybody know that I hope uh, everyone is having happy holidays. Um, I am uh, just clearing some things off my laptop here. So um, I I've had a lot of inquiries lately about the market and, and um, where we're at and the holidays. And this is, you know, this is probably something that you guys have heard. We, we all know that the market is cooled. We're in a recession, quote unquote, uh, whatever you want to call it. That's definitely uh, not the market that we saw last year at this time. So uh, for those reasons, uh, I would like to just kind of talk about a few things and uh, let you all know where Bellwood is in this type of market. So yes, we are in the cooling market. Uh, that's understandable. Um, you know, you can't have the top of the market and uh, you know, crazy outrageous prices forever, right? There has to be a cooling period. And so um, we're definitely in that cooling period. Um, there's a, full, a few tools that you can use during this time. And uh, I would like to just kind of talk to you about it and uh, also share a really cool uh, a book that was just sent to me um, by a lovely agent and friend. Her name is uh, Stacy Baker. Her and Chuck Simons, uh, or Simmons Simons, uh, wrote this book. Uh, so there is uh, Stacy and Chuck, and they wrote 12 Simple Ways to Explode Your Savings. So I'm sure you'll be able to find this on Amazon. If you can't find it, just go ahead and um, reach out to me and I will get you uh, hooked up with a copy of this. But basically, this, this talks about how you as a homeowner can save money, you as an investor can make money, um, you know, there's tax benefits, there's, there's so many different tools in your belt, uh, probably that not, not a lot of people know about. So this is, again, 12 ways to explode your savings. And what's unique about this is um, we are actually um, quoted, or not quoted, but uh, listed in this book. And so page 24, let's see here, real estate investing. And this, this is all about Bellwood. And uh, we're pretty excited about that. Thank you, uh, Stacy, for, for adding us into this book. And then we're also listed in the back um, you know, just about Bellwood. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but it's, it's a really cool tool right now for you guys uh, in this type of market, uh, just so you can, you know, battle this type of recession or cooling prices with, with tools. Um, so in my, um, in my post, I, I mentioned the market and the holidays and the combination of those two in an equaling disaster, right? Now for most real estate investment companies uh, that don't have a pivot option, uh, this can equal disaster because, you know, they're obviously selling these homes for less than what they expected to. So they bought when the market was like this, the market shifted and they're not gonna be able to sell at those prices that they were expecting. So unless you have a pivot option uh, like Bellwood, Bellwood evaluates all of our homes prior to uh, buying them and determining if we can rent these if we can't sell them. So, so obviously we're shifting to a lot of rentals, long-term, mid-term, and uh, short-term rentals. That's Verbos, that's uh, um, traveling nurses, traveling professionals. Those are our mid-term, one month to, to six month. Uh, up to a year and then we have of course our short-term rentals which are your verbos and airbnbs all great tools that you have to have if you're an investor in this market if you're not uh, able to pivot like that you're going to lose and we've seen you know tons of uh, local investors just you know i mean it, it, they've crashed hard and um you know that can be expected and, and it's unfortunate for for them their investors and their families um, but you have to plan for uh, the worst, okay? Hope for the best, plan for the worst, and, and that is what Bellwood does. And, you know, we don't gamble with anybody's uh, investments. Uh, you know, we're securing investments as deeds of trust on properties with massive equity with the opportunity to lease or rent these homes. So we, we have protective layers above us. 
And so if your only option is to just sell the home for profit and you can't sell the home for profit and you have no other choice, well, then you're going to lose. And so that that's unfortunate. So um, moving forward, how is Bellwood uh, going to act or, or behave in this type of market where we have a declining market mixed with the holidays? Now, if you don't understand the holidays in the real estate market, they come to a screeching halt. And, and nobody wants to do any real estate because they want to prepare and decorate for the holidays. There's a little bit of a push between the holidays. Like there's a, there's a push after Halloween to get into a home before Thanksgiving. There's a push after Thanksgiving, very small window where people push to get in their home before uh, Christmas or the first of the year, right? They want to, they want to be settled in by the first of the year. And, and that, that makes a lot of sense. So, uh, but aside from that, the holidays are a completely uh, slow time of year. It's when spring hits that, that real estate uh, listings start to uh, move forward a little bit faster. And it's, it's basically Bellwood's bread and butter is, you know, when we're in that selling type of market. So we will uh, look forward to that in the spring. But what we'll do for the interim is, is take advantage of all the opportunity that's out there. Okay. Now it's not just investors that would be struggling during this period of time. It's also homeowners that are just wanting to sell and move and get out of the home. And they understand that the market is cooled. They understand that the holidays are here. And so they are left with limited options. Okay. And so Bellwood comes in with a cash offer, closes, uh, and we're able to, to get them on their merry way. We're able to buy a home at a competitive price during a cooling market and sell it during the spring, right? We have that lasting power to last until the spring and hopefully rates are doing a little bit better. They dropped, you know, to the sixth percentile, I think six and a quarter uh, last week. That was great. Um, but, you know, I expect interest rates to continue to maintain on the higher, you know, six to seven. Hopefully it doesn't go up into the eights. Um, and, you know, and we may be experiencing this for another year, year and a half. Who knows, right? You know, we can, we can all guess. But at this time, you have to create a um, stability inside of your market, what you're doing, you know, to maintain your portfolio. And uh, we're doing that. Uh, so in this market where others are struggling, Bellwood is thriving. Sure, we have the same pains as every other investment company that is not selling their homes above market value in seven days or you know before it even hits, right? Yeah, that's not happening for anybody. Now, there's some little tight-knit communities. You know, you have your, um, uh, you know, suburban or, or downtown areas that maintain their value really well. Old town areas. So, you know, Old Town Sacramento, Old Town Folsom, Old Town San Antonio, Old Town um, uh, San Diego. These areas are, across the United States maintain their value because there's there, it's a very limited area of, of real estate and it's got historical significance. So those maintain value pretty well. Uh, it's when you get into the suburban areas, your, your prairie lands where the houses are stacked right next to each other, you know, that those uh, tend to get hit pretty um, heavily with, with discounted pricing. So uh, Bellwood is here right now in this market to uh, take advantage of all the opportunity. Okay, there's a ton of opportunity in this market. There's a lot of folks that want to bail out on their home, get out, and that's where Bellwood comes in. So if you know of anybody who wants to sell their home or uh, is just, you know, just wants to get out of it and is not sure about the market, perhaps um, they have an adjustable interest rate and it just jumped up to 7% and they can no longer afford their mortgage. If that's the case, please reach out. Uh, to Bellwood, we'd love to help you out. We have a ton of sales agents um, across the nation that can help you out with um, selling your home to, to Bellwood, representing you. So, you know, agents, if you're out there, um, you know, this is not a, a system where you can just throw houses uh, on the wall and see what sticks. Okay, we do have a formula to the homes that we purchase. And just to give you an idea, it's really, really simple. What we look at is the trend. Okay, so uh, if we are selling homes uh, last year at $550,000, but today, um, you know, 
November of 2022 as opposed to 21, they're selling for 500 or 475, then we can kind of see a trend downwards, right? And so what we say is, okay, great. We, we noticed this trend, you know, be it 10 to 20% annually that we're losing. So we can gauge pretty easily where we will be in the next six months, right? So, so it, it follows. Sorry, it follows this trend down. So, if it was a year ago, it was uh, five fifty, and uh, now we're at five hundred or four seventy five. Well, in six months, we can pretty safely project that we're going to be somewhere around you know four twenty five. So, for those reasons, we cannot offer people um, market value today for their home. We just simply can't because that's not what the market will be when we sell the home, right? We have to protect our assets. We have to protect our investors. And if the market is, is having this downward trend, then we have to keep that in mind because we're not buying homes today and renovating them and, and listing them today. Right. If we were, then we'd be able to look at values today and because that's what we're selling them at. But we're looking at values in six months. OK, we're looking at values in six months and where we'll be then. OK, and that's how we have to base our value. So a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of agents get frustrated with this, but it's pure education. You know, a kitchen for us costs $10,000 in a, in a medium value, valued home, you know, $6,500 for cabinets, $2,000 for cords, backsplash, plugs, switches. It is what it is. And that's about half the cost for, you know, a contractor's pricing out there. So, you know, we'll do the math with you and we'll show you, okay, bathrooms five, a new bathroom, completely new is 10. Um, kitchen 10 flooring you know three dollars a square foot and that includes installation right it's about a dollar a square foot to install two dollars a square foot for, for the material right a full electrical job full plumbing job we can we can literally line item all of these out so you can help educate your sellers right and you can show them hey this company is not just trying to 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 waste your time right we're not and and, and you can show them here look they're going to spend a hundred thousand dollars on your home. You're going to spend a hundred thousand dollars on your home when you sell it to them, right? Not just your home. So, so when we buy it, we're going to spend a hundred thousand dollars, and then we're not going to be able to buy it, renovate it, and sell it in one day. We're going to buy it, renovate it, and sell it in three to six months. So, what does the market look like in six months? And then you educate your seller. Well, seller, you know, last year we would have sold the home at 550. This year we're looking at 475. So, if we see that, you know, decline in pricing, well, then we can safely assume that pricing is going to be in the low fours in six months. Okay. So, for those reasons, we're going to be selling it for low fours. We're going to be putting a hundred thousand dollars into it. We're already at three twenty-five. That that's break even, and plus we need to make a little bit of profit. Plus we need to pay the commissions to to the realtors. So what does that look like? Well, three twenty-five plus commissions. We usually like to make ten percent of ARV. So that's you know forty-two thousand five hundred dollars in this case. So we're knocking forty-two thousand dollars off of three twenty-five plus commissions. Right, we're somewhere around you know two hundred fifty thousand dollar offer price for this home. Now, when somebody is trying to sell their home for market value, you know four fifty, and we come in at two fifty, well, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. Your home isn't a beautiful, fully remodeled home that people are looking for today, right? People right now who are spending six, seven, eight percent, or you know, hopefully not worse than that, on their mortgage interest rate want all the bells and whistles okay so these homes have to be up to par they have to have nice carpet or no we don't really use carpet have to have nice flooring and windows and the full electrical a beautiful backyard beautiful front yard nothing that they have to pour more money into it because they're pouring more money into their mortgage these have to be turnkey homes okay to have a turnkey beautiful bellwood style home it costs a lot of money so when you have your clients selling the yellow oak cabinets with the old school brass, not the new brass, the old school brass gold, you know, and they say, oh, I love them. I put them in a 92 and they're solid oak. Yep, they got to go, right? You know, you have to educate your sellers and, and show them. Here is what a beautiful top of the market home is selling for right now. This is what it looks like. Here's what your home looks like. In order for make, to make your home look like this home, it costs $100,000. So unless you have $100,000 to put in your home to sell it for this value, you must drop your value. And therefore, the only person that's going to buy this home that needs these renovations is going to be 
a some uh, a homeowner who wants to put all the sweat equity in there okay uh, which is far and few between honestly or an investor someone like bellwood so, uh, a company like bellwood so if that's the case guys educate your sellers show them what's what give them uh, all the tools they need to educate their sellers okay empower the realtor empower the realtor okay because giving them a low ball price which is a low ball to us it makes sense to us but to them it's a low ball you cannot do that to a realtor you cannot just say oh, here they want 400 we're going to give you 250. then uh, this poor realtor has to go to the seller and say i thought i was going to be able to get you a 400 but here's a 250 offer yeah that's not going to be a fun conversation the, get out of my house don't ever talk to me again you, you lied to me blah 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 you said 400 this is 250 you're wasting my time no, that, that's horrific, and I'm sorry, realtors, if you've had to do that with Bellwood. But here's your opportunity to educate your sellers, okay? Hey, I really know you wanted $400,000, you know, and, and that would be great. But, you know, the market has shifted, and here's what houses uh, are selling for today that are fully remodeled, beautiful, you know, that look wonderful. And, and it's right down the street. It's a comp, and here's what it is. It went pending in a month. It's been fully remodeled. It's a, you know, you know, uh, exact model match of your home same square footage same bed bath count everything okay except that theirs looks new and yours looks 1992 right 1992 might be solid and, and, and functional but people want more for their dollar they don't want uh yeah they want solid and functional but they also want the white shaker cabinets with the quartz and the, and the subway backsplash and and all the new appliances and fixtures and all those types of things you know energy efficiency is, is a is a top priority for a lot of homeowners and so uh if you're able to educate your seller and just say hey you know what man you know we we missed the the train on the on the high market we're in a much cooler market and let me show you apples for apples okay here's here's your apple here's here's an orange right this this is what's selling for more and to make it an orange it's going to cost us a hundred thousand dollars so um do you want to put a hundred thousand dollars in your home and and make it look like that and mind you guys my numbers are about half the price so if it's a full remodel it can be well over a hundred thousand dollars right could be less than a hundred thousand dollars just depends on the on the home and the scope of work so with that being said guys you educate your seller you give them the tools to make a wise decision hey you wanted four here's what four looks like the cost to make it look like this is this much this is from a reputable company that that works nationwide then they need to make some money because they're an investment company and then and then realtors you know you guys need to make money and you explain to them, well, I'm going to be selling your home. I'm going to be working with the contractors. I'm going to be here every day. And, you know, and so, so I need to be compensated for my time as well. Right. And so uh, you educate your seller with those numbers. You educate them with, with time, uh, with, the, with the expense of the materials, uh, and then where the market's going. And yeah, it's a bitter pill to swallow, but if you've given them the proof, then how can they be mad at you? for the market right you didn't raise interest rates right the fed raised interest rates right Th this is not your fault and so by empowering you you know to go to the table and say man you know i'm doing everything i can and i've even done some research uh to to help you if you want to sell at the top of the market okay so that being said guys uh two things uh, in this market, traditionally cool market during the holidays, coupled with the recession, uh, can be tough. Um, but you can overpower, or excuse me, overcome these these uh, hurdles with books like this. Twelve simple ways to explode your savings by Stacy Baker and Chuck Simons. And then go ahead and scoot on over to the investment page on twenty four, and. Uh, Let's look at, at uh, real estate investing with Bellwood. It's been nice chatting with you all this morning. I hope you guys are well. If you have any questions about real estate investing or are curious how this works, please reach out to me. I'd love to help. And uh, we'll get you going in the right direction. This market equals opportunity for the right investment company. I'll talk to you later. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Bye-bye.